Alright, go on, turn to the camera, say hi. Uh -huh. Okay. No, you don't. This is my mom. Okay, y'all, welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 8. I'm about to show you guys how I've been styling my mom's hair throughout this year. So she's starting with her hair stretched. It air dried in those four sections. I'm just gonna slick it into a ponytail, a low pony, using the extreme gel that y'all know I've been using for years. Never um, canceled it or been done with it like folks have been. But anyway, so just spritz the hair, apply the gel, brush it back. And that's literally how I do her hair and my own hair when I want to get a sleep pony. So now I'm going to go over it with edge control. This is just so her hair could stay even more put into place for longer, like for more days. Otherwise, gel would be just fine by itself. This is the hair that we're gonna use for the braid. It is pre-stretched. Um, ignore the color code. The color that they sent us was the wrong color. But since we have it, we're just gonna work with it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is have her hold a third of the hair and then the rest of the hair that's going down the length of her ponytail or towards my direction is like two thirds of the hair. So it doesn't have to be exact. I guess it really depends on how long you want the ponytail to be. So just wrap the ponytail holder around and then I'll show you guys what to do next. After putting the ponytail holder on the hair, I folded it back over. So now we're going to create the ponytail wrap. So kind of grab a little bit of hair from underneath the added hair, and that's what you're gonna to use to wrap around the ponytail. So I'm using gel to do this. Um, you might find better results with like, got to be glue spray or whatever, you know, something else that you like to use. But I found that using the gel works just fine. So I'm putting like a bunch of gel on this small piece of hair as I'm wrapping it around as smoothly as I can. Bear with me now, y'all. I know it's probably looking a little crazy, but trust me, we're going to bring this around, okay? So I'm going to split her hair as well as the added hair into three parts. And what I'm going to do to best blend her hair is just add a little bit more gel to her hair. And this will not only elongate her hair, but cause it to kind of stick together and stick to the fake hair. So when you kind of braid it and blend it as much as you can with your hands, it'll blend pretty well all right so now this last part is just to braid the hair so if you know how to braid you know how to do this the only thing you'll be focusing on is tucking her natural hair underneath the added hair as much as you can especially in this top of the braid once you've kind of gone down the braid a little bit um her hair won't be popping out as much Add a little bit more gel as you're braiding if that helps you to get it to stick together a little better and blend. Um, I found that it helped me, so I kind of keep my hands wet with gel as I'm braiding her hair. All right, so we're coming to the end of the break. Get ready to like the video, y'all. Here is the finished result. It looks beautiful. The braid is perfect. It's long. What I did not like is this side view. You can still see the puffiness of her hair. So I've actually changed what I've been doing since I first recorded that first ponytail. And I put her hair into three braids. I follow the same exact process, except this time when I braid, it's a little bit easier to 
blend her hair because I just hide the braids with the braiding hair. So I'll let the video play out and show you guys the finished result of this black ponytail. So here is the finished look with the black hair. Let me know down below what you guys think of either braid, first or second. I really like the second one. I think the first method probably works better on hair that has been straightened or blow dried or something. But the second method worked really good for her natural hair. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Like it down below if you have not already. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 9.